Hey, what's up? It's Cynical Gamer. Um, this is my first video ever, so I just wanted to start off with something that was actually really important to me, and that's uh, music. Now, the one problem I have with music is I just can't get enough of it. I listen to an album or so, I get really interested, and there's just not enough. Like I always need more. So here's a cool website to find more. Uh, it's called Last.fm, and if you want to go to the address bar, you can actually see it. It's uh, Last.fm. And uh, it's mainly just a music discovery site. So the most important thing for any kind of music discovery site is it gives you recommendations because that's what you're there for. So as you can see, this is my home page. You can see videos recommended, events recommended. Obviously, I don't, I don't really have those, but uh, and free downloads. So even better if you <laughs> if you want to support the artist by not downloading them um, on a torrent site, you can actually just pick up some free samples that they kind of scatter on the website. Um, so let's go into my recommended list. Um, now I guess it's important to say how it uh, gives you recommendations is through a system called Scrobbling. So you play music through either your iPod, your Windows Media Player, or iTunes if that's what you like, and it'll actually collect all the information from the music that you like and it'll put it in a nice little catalog and um, it really re just represents this. So this is all the music recommended um, and I, as you can see that's all the music that I have listened to that's similar to this artist. And you can keep going down. Now I listen to a lot of industrial so you know if this doesn't seem like your thing it obviously recommends stuff that's more in tune to your taste and um, if you're a subscriber if you add something like these guys in, in that case I'll, I'll save them. If you like them, uh, you can save them, add, add them to your library, and then if you're a subscriber, which is about $3 a month, you can actually just stream all of the music in your library for free, um, which is very cool. I mean, for $3, you get as much music as you possibly like, and you can actually just play through all of your recommendations as well. So let's get out of that. So let's just go to my my homepage on Last.fm. And uh, yeah, I just watched a video of that, just a show on the video. Um, but you can see that there's a lot of different stuff. You can see that I'm great at Photoshop. But uh, you can see there's a lot of different stuff on the left-hand side, like charts, neighbors, friends, all that fun stuff. So, so it's really just a, a social community. Um, the coolest part to me and where I found the most music from, for myself is, is neighbors. So you have the interesting little avatars. And you know, one of the, the coolest things for me is that you, know, you can share music with tons of people, whether they be in Australia, the Netherlands, uh, the UK. And it's really good to get different different opinions and different kind of people listening to music. So if I go into this profile, it'll probably tell me that I have a super comparison or compatibility with them. Yeah, so there. So he has a lot of music that I listen to, and in, in his case, it's Blue Stally. But he also has different stuff, like Sick Puppies, who, who honestly I myself have never heard of. So probably later today I'll check them out, and I'll probably love it. So, you know, there's that. And uh, just the last thing I'll go for towards, if I can find it, is the Scrobbler, which is the important thing, you know, if you want your Windows Media Player to pick up um, what you've been listening to. There we go. Last time, Scrobbler. So what you do is you download this program, and it actually just, it takes in all the data of what you're listening to, and I actually have it installed, but uh, you just click the Download Now option. If, if you're on Windows, it also has a one for Mac and, I think, Linux. I'm not, I'm not positive. So in this case, you just save and then you run it. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. So I'll close that down, and I'll actually show you the program if I can find it. One second. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there we go. So, last of them. So yeah, it says hello, and uh, you know, if I had my subscription-based account on, I could actually just type in an artist. And as you can see, it says your free, free trial is expired. But uh, you can actually play all of your library and things like that um, through this program as well as listening to uh, just music and it picking it up. And I'll show you an example of that just really quickly. Whoops, uh, where are we? So yeah, I'll just show you a little example of that. Da -da -da, da -da -da. And I love 30 Seconds of Mars. Not really, but uh, it's music. So right now I'm listening to 30 Seconds of Mars. It picks it up and uh, usually just have to listen to a certain percentage of the song for it to scrabble it. Um, there you go. That's Last FM. Go find some music.